Welcome back to Ferrazzle's Wand. We are going to hop into the labyrinth. So uh, this is, again, like entering a new realm, I guess. We have one of these uh, transition or title card type images. Uh, I think it could have belonged at the base of the mountains, like around hanging a bit, but they put it here, I guess, because labyrinth is such a large level. I don't know what the inspiration for the image is, but you can clearly see Hector D. Bird, the mascot of Ambrosia Software, prominently featured in the middle here. Uh, again, there are, on the soundtrack, there are two tracks for the Labyrinth, and only one of them plays in-game. I think the second one was meant to play over that little title, but never did. Now, this level is uh, really big. It's the largest one in the game. It is very maze-like. While the others have some branching paths, this one has a lot of branching paths. Uh, I'm going to try to follow it in kind of a natural order. Uh, so if you're careful about it, you can follow it pretty easily. I might even put the mini-map on here to like trace my progress. Uh, but it is a pretty long level. It was the one I, I thought would be most difficult to do uh, as a playthrough, honestly. Just because it is so large. And I've had to really look over Ferrazzle's secret, or the um, Erica secret guide for Ferrazzle uh, to get more comfortable with the level to be able to show all the secrets since it is so large. So let's just go in. First, this little cove up here, you can see the dynamic lighting. I think it's a neat effect. Uh, I'm going to leave this multi-crystal. It doesn't affect the secrets count, and it's an easy one to get to, so there's no reason not to. Let's save this as the start of level 14. And I'm going to use Ice Wall for these guys, because they are just so tough, and I don't really want to take the time to deal with them otherwise because we'll see some pretty tough enemies on this level. Okay, nothing up there. So let's just run straight across, picking up the Zycrons as we go down here. Now some of these, uh, you can jump up and climb through these passageways. Some of them you won't be able to. So like this one here we can. All right. So this looks like something we can't do right now. Um, Erica actually does this first, because if you use the fact that we can climb up walls that we shouldn't by holding the up key and then jumping again. You can actually get up here and you can uh, access it early. We will come across this point before too long, so I'm just going to come back to it, this area with the bow and the arrow and the retracting spikes. So we will do it in a bit. For now we're just going to keep going across and we're going to follow the path of the level as best we can. One thing about Ice Wall is it does use a lot of magic. Um, I think I may leave this one for a boss as well, because it's not affecting secrets. This level uh, has a lot of environmental hazards, like all the spikes everywhere and the arrows and just lots of things that will hurt us other than enemies. So we have to use a lot of tricks like jumping in front of arrows and then ducking underneath them and things like that to try to keep our health up. I think I'm gonna just use ice wall to climb this wall more safely. Okay, before using this next save, let's ride this platform across. This is also a level, the saves get a little bit sparse, uh, like halfway through, and also so does the health. You notice there's not a whole lot of torches in here. So uh, it is a good one to have a health potion with you. And you also, if you have an escape ring, you can consider using it, like we have an escape ring here. Because um, I, I just bought one from Elber in the Ice Caverns, to have one. but. If you have one, it can be useful if this level, if you need to go back and buy another health potion or save your progress and there's no saves nearby. Alright, so we finished everything below this except for that initial pathway that I said we'll come back to. These can blow up, so try to keep your distance from them. Some of them actually have things you want. I'm going to save that for... Just a moment. Alright, more quicksand. And there's this guy part of the way across. 
He's gonna give us grief, so we gotta kill him. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and use the uh, magic crystal. Regenerate my magic. You have to be careful of everything in this level, so if there's something that, uh, a floor below you or something like that, you should watch it before you fall. Um, these arrows you should try to climb partly across, rather than immediately the full way across, things like that. And the tactic for these is just jumping from side to side. Okay. Uh, so there's a path down there that you can see. I could take the, the spiked balls south, or I can go north here. Uh, they actually join in just a moment here, so let's go ahead and just follow the north path. There's actually spikes by that arrow there, so I want to jump over those. This looks like a dead end, but you can clearly see there's more on the other side. So let's through. Here we go, a heart crystal. We needed this. So this is going to regenerate our health, give us more health. It's a good level to have it because there's just so much going on. Let's wait for a good gap to run through. Like I say, I think I'll put up the mini-map, and on the mini-map you'll see that this looks a lot like one of those old Macintosh mazes that you try to fill out, or like, try to complete, in the old classic Mac OS. I think he might have used that as an inspiration for the, the level. Probably imported that as the base map or something. Okay, those enemies are so annoying because they have all these different attacks, I don't want to deal with any of them. Okay, um, so let's not go on just yet. That's the way on. Uh, we can finish everything up to this point by first exploring down here. Because we're going to come back to all the areas that I said we would come back to. Ah. Okay, these guys are pretty fast when they want to be. I want him to turn around. Okay, let's collect this. Oh, another red Zycron, excellent. Okay, so up there to the left, that is um, where we just pointed out that we were. I mentioned the two spiky balls going up and down. Instead of going down that path and then having to climb up this corridor down here, uh, which has the, the spiked walls. I just chose to come from the north path and it dropped us down here. So like I said, they all connect. Now if we go beyond this way, we will connect back to where we were at the beginning when I said we would come back to that path as well. explored all that. Now this rotating spiked ball is really annoying because you're just gonna you're just gonna get hit by it unfortunately. Um, Erica recommends avoiding it altogether. I usually come in it with enough less that I think it is worth getting the regeneration because you can kind of duck down here and if you get away with being hit only once you're not really any worse off than you would be. Um, and you pretty much will get hit at least once. I mean, I, I might have had slightly more health than that, but it wasn't wasn't that great that it would be that worth it. Okay. Okay, so let's go across this acid. There's coins at least. Ah, 
All right, and here we are. So this is back to where we were at the beginning. When I said we could climb up here, we picked up these icons and came to here. Let's go ahead and finish this path now. These are just such aggressive and annoying enemies. I don't need the health crystals at this point, but we're not going to come back this way, so there's no reason not to, to use it. Uh, I want to jump onto that platform before it's gone. Oh well. <laughs> so let's take this up. Now, uh, this one, I do recommend avoiding this pit of Zeridian Brine, because if you watch where the spike ball is going to go, you will get hit every time that you are in there, and it's just not going to get you any advantages. So you're far better off not going in there. Okay, and then let's just drop down here. Okay, so there's a good point to save. Part of the reason I like this order uh, Erica does this part first by using the climbing the wall exploit. I like this order because we get that save and the health at a later point in the game. So that teleporter takes us to this little room that we're going to want to clean out. Let's just climb up the wall. So bad. Another chest. Okay, some money. So we're netting something even though we're getting hit a lot by the hazards here. Alright, and this teleporter should take us back to the dragon cannon at the beginning, right next to the one. The one we just took is to the right there. It's just this closed loop that takes us to that room into here. And we're back here at the beginning. So um, instead of backtracking this time, I am just going to use our... You can obviously backtrack. If you want to run, uh, you know, go back and watch the video where we just did the beginning. We ran up through all the, the chains and the spikes and then the, the spiky balls and it led, us to, um, it led us to that four group spiked ball that we uh, went across, this acid we ran across. I think I'm probably less likely to be hurt um, as badly just by climbing up here. But you can, you can get back here whichever way you want to. That's a very tricky thing to do without getting hit, but if you're careful you can. Okay, um, and just for the sake of completion we're going to explore down here. Get our health. I think there's a Zykron back here maybe. Otherwise, it's just a dead end. I guess it's just a dead end. This quicksand, um, first of all, you can run. Like, if you start to fall, you'll hit the ground and you can run out of it. But another thing you can use with quicksand is if you, if you kind of activate a jump like that, like jump while you're holding to the side, it will activate a climb. And you can pretty much always climb uh, out of quicksand. So, uh, in fact, you always can. So there's that multi-crystal we left from earlier. This is below the doorway when I said we would come back, um, or that I said it would join to the other doorway. This is below that one. Okay, unfortunately, we're just gonna have to get hit going out of here. Now, to our advantage is um, there's a pit of Zeridium Brine north of here, right? So, like I said, I <laughs> you can't avoid getting hit by that. 
have to be really careful. Yeah, so see, this is a case where I just know going in, of course I'm going to get hit trying to get out of this. But, if I only get hit once going out, I get way more net benefit healing. So let's... Okay, that's probably not the best. <clears throat> We're going to try to climb out if you're getting hit only once. See if we can manage that. It's definitely possible. Um, yeah, there you go. It's just a little bit hard. But you pretty much always get hit once out of that one. And you just know you're going to be hurt by it. Okay, I saved this. I didn't want to use it until we finished that. So uh, we have now finished everything south of here. We, we explored the dead end down there. We explored all the paths south. And we know this joins back with where we were earlier. So let's save our game. Not a bad save state to have. Okay, so let's just climb back up. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we have explored everything past or behind us. Uh, the only thing left is straight ahead of us. So that's what I mean about how, yes, this is a maze and it's a branching level, but if you're uh, careful how you do it, you can manage the branching paths. So this is the only option we have to go forward, so we might as well follow it. You always have to look below you in this place because it will always try to get you. Excellent. A nice safe pit of Zeridian Brine here. So I want to try to come facing this character. Now these uh, gray ones are way tougher than the normal ones. The normal ones were taking two of the ice wall. This guy um, will take several at least. Okay, was that three? The different color enemies are tougher than the typical ones. That's the standard we've seen in all of these. I think it's interesting that this part of the game does not require that you have been through the ice caverns. Because all of those ice walls, or all those spiked walls retracting and things, that's to support the fact that you may not have been through the ice caverns. I always do the ice caverns before I do the labyrinth. Because I just think it's hard enough as it is to do this level without um, having to worry about the timing of the walls. Alright, so again, only way up is, uh, only way is up. So we can actually use our high jump here, this high jump power up to avoid the spikes altogether. Not a bad idea to save some magic when we can. Because it gets a little bit sparse through here. Alright, so these goblins, these guys have big jumps. I'm expecting they'll be able to get up here. Here we go. Thankfully, Ice Wall is very tough. Where did the other one go? Okay. I'm glad that we get two magic potions because I might end up having to use my magic potion here. Alright, just like that, it seems like our options branched out, right? Because we, we now have a north path and a south. But it really hasn't branched too much, as you'll see when we explore a little bit more here. So let's explore here first. very indignant when these guys manage to get a hit off. They should be pretty easy to kill. All 
Alright, so we can see there's more down here, and indeed the wall does break. Now, I don't want to stand very close to these in case they're explosive. So we'll just push them all together. Some more money, that's not bad. So if you ever needed something like an escape ring and then more health potions, this level does have plenty of money. It's just that it's all hard to get to and there's really um, no other reward for the level, so it's hard to want to do it. I like to try to keep as healthy as I can, so I am uh, thinking I'm going to backtrack to our Zeridium Brine. Because that was not very far, and it will heal us up and give us our magic back. Could be a good way to preserve some health and mana. Okay, and now we're back to where we were. So we explored, whoops, that's the problem with having a super high jump, is you forget how high you jump. Okay, we explored over there. Uh, let's use Ice Wall to kill this guy pretty fast. Let's see, before exploring down there, I think I'll show this path. Oh yeah, yeah, see they connect. So uh, now we're at this point and um, we've explored everything but these two paths. We have northwest and northeast. So first I'm gonna finish the northwest path. At least I'm assuming, yeah, they actually connect, don't they? Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to use an ice pick against this guy because of his, uh, where he fell. Ice Pick does a lot more damage than the regular dagger, so if you have to do a water fight, it can be the best way to do it. This is a dead end, isn't it? I think so, yeah, this is a dead end. How annoying. I have to get hurt to get those Lycrons, but I want to get 100%, so. Okay, so that was a dead end. This connected down here. Okay, yeah, so both paths actually connect. Um, but, so we still have a way on to the right there past the water. We saw that spiked ball climbing up and down, so we can go north there. And then we still have this northwest path here. So we see there's Zycrons on that side. There's clearly something on the other side of this wall. through the wall here, and let's just explore over here. Okay. So we found Dimbo now. Who you? I don't like strangers. I'm Farazzle, 
Your brother Nimbo told me you'd been imprisoned by the Manitraki. Are you alright? Nimbo! You sent by Nimbo! Love my brother, he goody good. You must be good too, if cause he sent you. Hooray, I can leave now. Don't like this bad place. I getting out of here right away. Bye byes. Hey, where do you go? God sooks, he moves incredibly fast for such a big lug. How am I going to find my way out of here? So, I don't know, I guess he just knew it was Dimbo by the look of him. But, um, Dimbo is rather dim, and I guess he's just been sitting around in here uh, for however long he's been kidnapped. But now that we found him, he's back, or he left, to go back with his brother. Apparently he doesn't have to hang by the mountain and all the stuff that Ferrazzle had to do, but... I'll try not to complain too much. Alright, let's explore down here. Whoops. Have to move pretty fast with here. Probably the ice wall would be more effective with this guy. Okay, and we explored all that. Yep. These swords are annoying. You just have to try to get under them when they are uh, below the ground. Alright, so we explored all that, and now we have a secret area. This one's rather tricky to find. I really struggled to find it until I went through Frazzle, uh, the secret guide, a couple times and um, learned of it as, its existence. But since you never come back this way, you really have to get, get to it now. It's quite a hard one to find. Alright, so let's deal with this fella. All of these guys are annoying. If you drop them in the acid, they should die. Now that res necklace being down there is a bit problematic because I don't think it's supposed to be. I think it's supposed to um, spawn on the platform, but it did not. So we had to Of course, I don't know any way out of there except to get hurt, either. Okay, I think it's a good time to backtrack again to that uh, Zeridian Brine. On this level, if you know of a Zeridian Brine place nearby, it's never a good idea, or never a bad idea to go back, because it is such a hurtful level. I just always trying to uh, keep Frazzle as healthy as I can because you never know what the next awful thing you have to face will be. And you'll notice we've not saved for a while either. So we're, we're going a pretty long distance here without a save and without much in the way of health or torches or anything like that. But thankfully, there is that one pit of Zeridium Brine that we can safely use. I find it easier to jump over that and just climb. It's so hard to time it correctly otherwise. We've explored everything to the left, and now we have... There's the path down that led to the water, and there's the path up. I'm trying to remember... What's up here? Oh, it's actually a dead end. Okay. So then there's not a whole lot. There's just the path down. Because remember, this was a dead end. Uh, we had to jump into that acid to get those Zycrons, unfortunately. And we killed the two spiders that were here. So this is the way on. I am hoping for a save soon, because we have gone a long distance without a save. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, that was quite a trick. You think you can duck it and you can't. Let's go ahead and save. I'm just going to use all these right now because I'm never coming back this way. Okay, I really want to make use of this invulnerability to its best. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to. Actually, does that does this come back this invulnerability? No, the invulnerability does not. Only the super speed does. Okay, so that just took us back, that teleporter. So we're just going to use the super speed. We went down south, that was just acid. at a point where we have explored everything, except this path onward. I might have to use my health potion if we don't get anything to regenerate us soon. This whole area is connected. Oh, another red Zycron. So clearly we're getting a lot of Zycrons in this level, because I think that's our second one. Thankfully, the save was pretty nearby, so if we end up in a position where we... Uh... And how does this part connect? I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, so there it is. So just a dead end. Nothing over there. Okay, and what's over there? For sure. Let me see. What are the two paths here? Okay, so we have a path. We have two branching paths now. We can either go down that tunnel with the spiked balls. You know, I just don't know when we're next going to have some health. I'm going to use my health potion. If it turns out to be a bad decision, I'll go back to the save game. Because we saved pretty recently, thankfully. And we weren't in terrible shape at the time. But let's progress. Uh, let's see. Oh! It's not a branching path. Does this connect? Okay, so we're, we only have one way to go again. which is over here. I don't know if I'll be able to get both of these without being hurt. Okay, I believe that is the way on towards the finish. Uh, I don't want to go that far just yet, because I would like to first finish up down here. There should be a little bit of something we can use. Thankfully, I feel like we got enough money this level to offset the cost of the health potion, and if we'd had to use the magic potion. Okay, well, I guess we'll just explore as we go. Okay, so there's another healing station. Okay, so there's more... I think I am going to use those health crystals 
Um, no, I'll, I'll plan a backtrack because I do think I saved here. Because I think this will be a dead end. I think we'll have to go back the other way. I'm not 100% sure on that. Spikes are well hidden there. Boy, I really get annoyed with this. It, it, every time they want me to suffer to get the gold Zycrons. It's more health, that's good. So annoying, you have to time things right. I don't think this is a good angle to hit him. Maybe. Let's see what happens when he turns around. No, I think it's better to fight going up. Well, maybe. Now, you know what? This is the way on. Yeah, this is the way on, actually. So let's backtrack. Let's finish everything back there, and then come back to here. Those are tricksy spikes, okay. So we don't want to go through that cannon, because I think that actually sends us back pretty far, and we don't really want to go back all that far. As it is, I just want to finish up everything over here. There's unfortunately a pretty fast sword, so we have to be pretty careful in avoiding it. just for the minute from my own memory. Yes, yeah, so we explored that. Yeah. So, I wanted to explore this first. There's more of these enemies here. Definitely. Ah. seem to be good for hitting him. Oh yeah, I think I can get him from this angle. Okay, I don't know where this teleporter takes us. I'm hoping that it's not terribly far from here. Excellent. Okay, this is, I think it might actually be the last secret area, because now that I'm thinking about it, I think we've explored everything else in the game. What all is here? We have a res icon. Some more fire seeds. I think I'm going to go ahead and pick up the Penta Shield because. Um, I can't think of any reason why I would be expected back here, and it might protect me. From some of the environmental hazards for a little while. we got 100% on everything. I'm not completely sure. Okay, of course that asset is there. A 
Did we explore? Yeah, we did. Okay. So all that remains is the last little bit we already saved. We used our last save and backtracked and finished up what was there. I think we've explored the whole level. I can't think of anything missed. What's funny is these penis shields can actually get caught up in the cannon. I think they drag me into the cannon with them, though. I'm not completely sure. Okay, apparently they're not going to protect me from that. Hopefully this is everything, we don't have to backtrack to find something. This level is so large though, you never quite know. Now that, um, we saw in a previous level the hang glider. This level uh, has a flying carpet. So I'm going to jump up here, and it activates my flying carpet, which apparently also destroys my uh, pentashields. I like this better than the hang glider, because the hang glider you have to catch the wind and glide. This carpet is just a free fly, you can go wherever you want to with it. Unfortunately, I mean, you can actually try to fly it through here, but I've gotten it stuck before, and then you can't finish the level. So, uh, you can fly around a little bit with this, but it's primarily designed for this corridor here. Which you just kind of want to slowly make your way up, otherwise you're going to get shot by a lot of arrows. Okay, we could also have climbed it, of course, but it's just kind of a neat thing to show the flying carpet. Alright, now eh, who cares if we get a little bit hurt, we have a save right here. Alright, so let's go ahead and save. This is the end of the labyrinth, this should be the last part of the level. And we can just walk out. Seven saves. Very large level, very hard. We had to use our health potion. Let's hope that we got 100% on everything. Very good. Okay. So that is the labyrinth. And that is basically the last level of our eastern path. This next boss is the, the Mandatraki Wizard, and it's going to be kind of similar to the Warrior, um, and it will be the next one we do.